When I graduated from high school in 1964, a McDonald's hamburger cost 15 cents. In 2018, it cost $1.68, and today it cost $1.79. That's approximately a 1,000% increase. Same cows, same vegetables, same bread ingredients. So what caused that inflation? The external factors outside of the ingredients impacted those ingredients, like commercial farming versus family farming. Some would say even wages, but let's look at minimum wage from 1964 to 2022. The minimum wage in 1964 was $1.15 per hour. Yep, you heard me right, $1.15 per hour. The federal government raised the minimum wage continually until about 2009, where basically it's been frozen as $7.25 since that time. Now that's about a 700% increase over that same period of time as the hamburger, which was a thousand percent. So wages haven't kept pace with inflation for decades, whichever party was in control. I'm going to let you have the heart attack when you look up the executive compensation growth during that same time period. Now couple this information with the tremendous financial gain of stock markets during that period and you have the formula for economic inequity. Inflation and its wild fluctuations are not the cause of economic woes. It's far more straightforward than the stock market. It is the greed culture corporations have developed over the last five decades. Corporations are now in the business of increasing shareholder value, not providing for the needs of Americans, even though companies originated from serving the needs of people. Name any business. It was created and developed based on serving the needs of people. Really, look at any business, the food industry, the hospitality industry, transportation industry, finance, energy, medicine, all of them, and I mean all of them and all other sectors evolved out of satisfying the needs that people have. Companies in essence are developed for the general welfare of the people. The people in turn, purchased the needed products with their money and the people provided the labor to create those products which in the early stage of business growth created a balance between business owners employees and customers it was a balance of power they shared in the growth of the company it increased motivation it increased security increased loyalty to corporations. That balance of power created trust. Most businesses were local and privately owned until the idea of maybe selling shares in the company to generate funds versus innovation and pricing and other factors to meet the needs of the people. Now, using the stock market, we had a few wealthy people driving the pricing, and more importantly, the company's purpose for existence. Companies have moved from serving communities' needs to providing maximum profit for investors. This movement was the genesis of the toxic cultures that we now find employees and customers resisting. Labor shortages and inflation are not the products of people or even a party. They are the product of capitalism gone awry. Companies forget why they came into existence in the first place, forgetting who provided the funds and the resources that helped them grow financially. 
Greed is what big money is fighting to hold on to, even more than fascism. But they don't see any solution that keeps the super rich in power other than fascist control of government and business. This toxic culture is why I say we have the most significant void among authentic leadership in our country's history. It's why we must fight to develop authentic leaders who understand their purpose lies with the people's needs who support their business and not the need of greed for the few. So don't blame any party for economic woes. Blame people who put wealth above humanity. We need a culture, a whole culture transformation of our country's leaders at all levels of leadership. We must return to a moral and ethical culture-based society versus greed and power. So I want you to think carefully about this election. I want you to evaluate the leaders that you elect on their moral and ethical beliefs that serve the needs of all Americans, not just a few. Elect people who will create a renaissance within our capitalistic society that focuses on regaining a balance between owners, employees, and customers. One that will balance the power and create trust again. And trust will create unity. Focus on cold facts you can prove and not conjecture lies. You don't need that leader if you can't point to a solid observable result that you can see, touch, or feel, and it actually exists not some idea or thought. Till next time, I hope to chat with you in the near future, but let's improve leadership. Make this vote count. Put the right leaders in position. Don't be fooled. I'm Vic Vogel, chat with Vic. I'll chat with you later. <laughs>